was um, epic moments in hip hop when our uh, rap first became signed. You know, like before that, before it got wrapped uh, uh, into the light. Uh, no, 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 I won't make sure. First record was made, made an epic jump, and then hip hop became what it is, rap became what it is today. Now we're breaking the element, the dance element. Um, I feel the moment of it becoming an Olympic. Uh, the, the, the attachment, is it, yeah, it's Olympic sport is the exact same thing as if when rap first in 1979, when it, when it, so you see it like uh, it's being a good thing. Anything that builds upon the central elements of hip hop, which are central indigenous elements, is a good thing. How people use that sport, how people use that knowledge, how people use that, that skill, if it's just, if they can find a way to incorporate it into their spiritual, mental, intellectual growth, it's a blessing. The worst thing that can happen to it is for it to be forgotten. Once it's on the Olympic stage, it's around the world, and it will inspire young people who had no idea of hip hop, and no idea of breaking. So you want to see, a lot of people inspired. You're going to be so, see some of the most ferocious dancers in history coming out. So yes, it's a good thing. Okay, that's perfect. And Knowledge then, born. Yes. Okay. And then I, just, I remember back when we had the, the anniversary of meeting of the minds. You know, the, like 10 years, 15 years ago, back when we were coming, and we were discussing about do documenting hip hop history in the museum. And like I said, I've noticed uh, how now it is actually looking like it's happening. Uh, people have been coming together and they've been raising funds. So Curtis Blow said he raised 84 million out from forever. And like, I'm just saying it's uh, it's a good thing. But I remember when. It, it's good to see after what the nation have been through over the years, over the last actually, four years or so, and still uh, consolidating. So how would you say the state of the state of um, what's happening? Okay, very carefully, I want anyone who's doing any museum or any museum quality thing. Shh! Anyone who's doing anything, sorry bro. Anyone who's doing anything with a museum, listen carefully. In order to fill your museum, you have to be filled it with real imagery from real people who are at the real culture. Make fucking sure they get paid, okay? And you could have these glamorous motherfucking museums, which is wonderful. I'm excited. I'm, I'm thrilled to be in them. But I got to get that paper, too. If they got a picture of Andy Warhol, a uh, telephone with a banana on it and that's worth 35 million well you damn well better put something in my pocket because I ain't playing that shit alright because once you divide yourself from the creators, the progenitors the builders and the pioneers of the ones who sacrifice their life, their time, their blood, their sweat coming out here with that auto tune nah, 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 nah. sit down and shut the fuck up alright that goes for all y'all. And you're pretty. Big deal. My dog is pretty. And, and she ain't trying to do a rap out. Many body And on levels that other people don't even know about. He came to me, didn't know me, came humble, stepped to me, came correct, brought me out to his people, let me do my thing, and was gracious. And now, Seven, I can't believe seven years have passed like that. From 2012 to 2019. And we're both still here. Presidents, kings, even countries are gone. And we're still here. Peace. We're going to go inside. People just hear hip hop and they think the world blues. So this year's uh, theme for Hip Hop Appreciation Week is focus. So I want to, um, um, you guys are pretty much pros at what you do, like you are pros at what you do. I know you're tired, there's chaos in the sky, we're all in disguise, and guys dissing ladies, and ladies dissing guys, but we get limping, or F you up, just change positions, don't care what others think of me, just glad they're thinking, cause one thing that everyone has is in the
CSDS, this beloved hip hop, this music, this art, this culture, this, this magic, whatever you, you want to call it, is killing us because it's making us, our children, stupid. But I'm 72 years old. I don't want to tell you what I can do. Hope I never have to show you. But the only way you get to 72 is to be 62 and 52 and 32 and 42 and you're not going to do that with the drugs and the bullshit and, you know, the 97 sexual partners whose names you can't remember the next morning because you were high on whatever. If your life means something to you and your future kids or if you don't have kids, if your family means something to you, whatever, you know, Whatever you hold dear to your life, if you if you value that, we must honor the teachings of the elder. We must do this. And everybody that's in here that came through and resonates that and wants to build a community, just know that I have your back. I do this, and the many people who are here that do this, we do this for the community. And the community ain't shit without unity. And so what we, we must do is unite and show this to our people.